Hello Internet, I'm Remote Leg. Let's start simple and upgrade our scouts to use our warp field precursor technology that we just discovered. Designs are stored here. There are lots, but many are private ship designs, which we can modify. But in reality, we are only interested in a few. So we show the latest designs and we show the state ships. That's better. The EX-1 Navigator is the design for our scouts that we're currently using. Automated upgrade means the AI will generate new designs for ships as we research new technology. Automated retrofit means the AI will recall ships to star bases to retrofit them to the new designs when it sees fit. So you can leave both on automated and never worry about designing ships if that's what you want. Since you're watching this video, I assume you want to make your own designs. So we'll set the upgrade to manual. We'll also put the retrofit on manual. The AI is pretty good, but I've sent scouts over to explore other solar systems only to have the AI call them back to install a new coffee machine, so we retrofit when I say so. OK, we have the scout design selected and hit Manually Upgrade Design. A busy screen, yes, but it makes sense once you get your head around it. Notice the name has been changed to EX1 Navigator Mark II. That's automatic and a nice touch. These are the components you can choose from, your shopping list. I find it helpful to sort by category. These are the components currently chosen for this design. Pick any component in either list and you get a description here. This is a scout, so weapons and defence will have little impact. Movement is what we want. Cruise speed is most frequently used and 42 is good. This design has no hyperdrive yet. Ion thruster has been superseded by proton thruster, so let's replace them. Notice our cruise speed is now 50. 5 more give us 60. 5 more give us 64. It's diminishing returns. 60 is good. We add the warp bubble generator, made available by our field precursors technology research and we can now reach 590 at hyperspeed. Let's replace our old reactor with a new fission one. Hyperspeed can now reach 803. Keep adding reactors until we max out at 2000. Range is half a sector. Replace our small fuel cells with standard fuel cells to increase it a little. Our extra components have made the ship bigger, so it needs more crew. That's why we need more habitation modules and life support. The new warning means our ship is too big to build at our spaceport, so we need to get rid of something. And we're done. Notice all this extra weight has also dropped our cruising speed to 29. We're not as fast, but we can travel 1.18 sectors without refueling. That's it for the Scout. We are already running low on resources. In the next video, we'll see about improving our constructors and mining bases to get some of that. Click the like button or subscribe to make me happy. Seriously, it helps a lot.